So if it seems like I've just woken up, that's because it is. It's 5am and uh, you know when you wake yourself up before something big happens and you don't know why? This is uh, this is it. Let's, uh, let's take a look. So apparently Konami decided to drop the bombshell of, of everything. <laughs> we have uh, updates, we have ban list and skill rebalancing. So I don't think these are going to be anything big. Uh, I don't think you do that right after the biggest ban list ever. So let's just, just go in. So first of all, for skills, we have 16th of January, some skill changes. What 007s come online, he knows. There's a list and uh, okay, so nothing to really care about uh we're just making oh wow we're making time passage a just straight up at you know unlimited skill i think that's how it works anyway i'm pretty sure it's bugged to work that way which is fine uh and then emergency call is working differently turn five onwards this is fine <laughs> aren't very good okay and then we have the ban list. Jan 5th. What is happening? <laughs> okay. This is fine. This needs to happen. Uh, limit 3. Ballon box avails. So now you can't run him in invoked. Good shit, Konami. Can still be ran in stall with, um, with Kyroid, but Lava Golem. You know Lava Golem. <laughs> uh, Purgatrio. Click attacks 5am. Purgatrio. You can't use him with him, which is, uh, good shit. This was necessary. Thank you. Good. Now, if we're getting anything good, because, um, let's see. First of all, we have the fourth anniversary, New Canada Week campaign. Okay. We're going to be getting special gifts at the beginning of the week in January. Hopefully it's special and not complete garbage, but sure. We're getting Mission Circuit with Flying Elephant and Gems. Okay, so... This one is one we talked about, we need to talk about this one actually, because this one was in the leaks this week. And this one is a card from the anime. The is kind of, I really wish that I had a better thing, yeah. Like, like that, there we go, there we go. That um, once per opponent's turn, if this card wouldn't be destroyed by card effect, it's not, which is cool, you know, that's fine. Avoids removal, pretty decent. And during their end phase, if that effect wasn't applied this turn, or it was applied, you can then make it so that during your next turn, if you inflict bad damage to your opponent by direct attack, you win the duel. It's a very meme card and makes sense for a tag duel tournament. Wait, oh, not tag duel, mission circuit, sorry. It is so early, I'm sorry. But still, not bad. We now know where that one comes from, which is, uh, that is nice. We're then getting, we're getting shark again. Cool. Full armor exceeds black ray coming once again. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm guessing that means we're going to be getting. If I'm just going to quickly go back to that menu, there we go. Yeah, full armor. I think that means we're going to be getting. Um, wait, what? Oh, that's a skill. Oh. Okay. Well. The skill basically lets you have this card in your extra, I think it is, and then upgrade it, up shark, you know, upgrade your black red answer to it, so... Huh. Okay, that's, uh... Not as cool as I hoped, you know? But sure. Uh... Cool. Uh, this was kind of expected, if you've seen last year, you'll know that we got a uh, Sarah again. Shark's in the same slot. So... Makes a ton of sense. We then have... Okay, Yugi. Okay, fine. Have that. Yugi's coming to the game. Fine. Cool. Don't need him. <laughs> it's fine. And then we have... Torga Mission Ringo. So far looking kind of shitty, to be honest. Uh... Crane Crane. This... This thing's pretty good, I, I think. It was, like, used. This thing's pretty good, I think. When this card is normal summoned, you can target over three months in your graveyard, special it. But its effects are negated. Okay. <laughs> this was a card used in a TCG. Uh, straight up, it did see play. 
Dual in dual links. From what I can see, no. Um, unless you can find a skill that puts a level three in the grave. But I think Dark Dark Verge is level one, so even then, it's not a one card exceeds. Hmm. Okay. Seems cool, but I'm not too sure if that's gonna be as big as people are kind of expecting. I mean, cool card, it, it definitely saw play in a TCG, but huh, it might be kinda of like a rescue rabbit where it's there for shock value only, I think. Then we have fourth anniversary campaign, okay. So far, it's kind of eh, it's just kind of, it's an okay, you know, an okay start. We have Tagdul, 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 Raidul. Aigami, okay, okay, okay. Cubic Ascension and the SR card Gandhari. I've not heard of Gandhari. Wow, okay, so Cubic Ascension is a trap card, I think. Cubic Ascension, yes, it is a trap card. If I could spell it correctly, it is a trap. That. When opponent declares an attack, specially V-Jarm from your deck, and if you do, change your attack target to it, and perform damage calc. So, this requires you, assuming we aren't getting V-Jarm anytime soon, you know, outside of the skill, to play the skill, which is already kind of... Eh. Eh. Yeah, uh, unless... Do we even have that skill yet? I think we do. If we don't, it means we're getting the skill, which is cool. If their life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, Banish this, especially V jump from your hand deck or graveyard. Then, if they control a monster, you can special up to two more. Well, that's kind of cheesy. Uh, this card is great. But specifically for Cubics, this card is really freaking good. So, if V jump is in the skill only, still not as good. But you now have a way to very, very easily get to it. And with Cubics being so good at searching out their deck, that's pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if we have the Cubic skill ready for Aigami, but if we the, uh, the Vijan one, but if we do, then that's going to be pretty good. And Gundari was our last card. This is, oh my god. That card up, man. That's pretty cool. It's a spirit. Okay. This card cannot be special summoned. It returns to you in its hand. Gen phase turns to normal summon flip this up. And if it bounces a synchro monster, bounce both of them. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> That's just not very good. Uh, okay. Sure. As an event reward card. Whatever. Then we have mid-January. The Tandor Tournament is coming. Finally. <laughs> Finally. It's, it showed its face. And we're going to be getting... Oh no. Oh no. It took them this long. To give Darkness Dragon. Could have been Atticus. We saw his name Night Shroud in the files years ago. Does that mean he's gone? And never coming? God damn it! Red Eyes Dance Dragon is pretty terrible. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna say this. This card is dog shit. Uh, it's it's not very good. You summon it by tripping a Red Eyes, and it gains 300 for every dragon in a graveyard. It's not very good. However. Neos Force, I believe, is actually a equip spell card, I think. Yeah, it is. This is one. Okay. So, put on Neos, he gains 100, which makes him 33, which isn't so bad. Um, If we have any monsters that count as Neos, I think, does, does Brave Neos do that? Then, this would be really good. When it destroys a monster by battle, and sends the graveyard, you inflict damage to your opponent, equal to what would be, in Duel Link's probably half, the original tap points. So, it becomes a Volcasaurus. Uh, okay. Oh, but it's only one turn. And then this card just goes back to the deck. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, uh, well, that's kind of AIDS. That's kind of, a, that's really annoying, actually. That's, that's really, did not, did not want to see this. You know, this morning, did not want to see when I started striking me, confirm this way. If this was saying Atticus is coming, then sure, but, oh. Uh, Okay, that's kind of disappointing, uh, sure. Mid-January, fine, so far, wait. That's stacked. That's two, that's two main events in the same kind of time frame. Okay, late January, dual quest. Stealth bird. 
we, 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 do we have that already? We, how do, how do we not have stealth bird? Okay, how do we not have this? <laughs> this is not great. Once per turn, change the festival transmission. When it's flipped, it will be in flick 500. This was a very cheesy card back in Invasion of Chaos. A uh, very cheesy card back in the day, you know, like years ago, 2004, I think, around then. Uh, okay, sure, fine. I mean, for a dual quest, that's technically not that bad. You know, that's really not terrible. Um, and then we have, it's going to be Kai in it. We're getting Kai into the month, 100%. Yeah, there we go, cool. Kite coming in is going to be very nice because then I think your mini box is Starlidge Paladynamo. I do not think you're gaining a Galaxy Eyes box and they get away to February and give you a good gap between Kite and Galaxy Eyes properly coming in. So you use the skill. So, um... Very cool though, because he had the, uh, he had the Sarah slot. So, not Sarah, the Blair slot. So he should have been, you know, February. Yeah, if we were following on exactly from last year, he'd have been February. But sure, okay. Pretty cool. And late January, we have Mission Circuit. Going to be getting Linear Accelerator Cannon. I think that's a spell card. I think that's a spell card. Linear Accelerator. That, 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 that is a spell card. Okay. I did know my stuff. Tribute one monster. And inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Half that. So be caught. So we quarter. But you can't actually spell because it's time. What? Hey. Why? Uh this is dog shit. <laughs> this card is terrible. Um, okay. Sure. I don't really understand that one, but okay. And then dual screen. The dual screen? The dual screen. And that's it. Eh. Uh, clearly the the updates, you know, the not updates, the uh, the anniversary stuff is going to carry the month. Because uh, Shark could be kind of cool, depending on what raw cards are, of course. And the, the skill, it probably does work better than I'm kind of expecting, but that's fine. The rest of the month... Alright. I mean, I, I guess if we don't have the Agami skill right now, I just want to check real quick if we do, because that's kind of important. What? Okay, thank you for Spider Hero X for subscribing. That's pretty cool. Do we have uh, Cubic Seeds? We do. Okay. So the skill will only work with this right now, which does mean this skill becomes better. But again, it's the one that locks you behind every other card in your deck being Cubic, which is not very good. And they weren't changing that in the skill balancing, so overall it's kind of a bit of a disappointing month I think. Um, Kite's going to be cool of course, you know, but Kite coming and seemingly deconfirming uh, Atticus or Night Shroud very very quickly after so long is not very fun, so uh, yeah. Uh, it's just kind of one of those months where it's like eh. It's fine, it's not overly bad, but it's not overly great, so uh, let me down below what you think, I'm going to go to bed because it's 5.21, I'm so fucking tired, but um, but yeah, thanks for watching, I will uh, see you soon, I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm shattered, see you then.